Hello, my name is Chase Rylands. I'm the District Wildlife Manager for Colorado Parks and Wildlife up in the Estes Park area. And recently we worked with Boy Scout Troop 81 out of Loveland to construct bear on welcome mats. You guys are doing a good thing and, and helping you know, bears. Uh, with the Troop 81, we constructed them four feet by four feet. And whenever you want, want to construct bear on welcome mats, you want to have the nails two inches apart. Uh, in a grid format and the, have the nails poking out about an inch and a half, two inches. And that way the spacing allows for bears to not want to put all their body weight onto that mat and uh, prevent them from accessing uh, different things. So, uh, it could be constructed by a lot of different things that you can find in your garage or your shop. Um, yeah, whether it's nails or screws, um, a lot of times you know, screws could be a little bit faster if you have a power tool, um, power tools to help you with that. Depending on what, uh, what different type of structure, whether it's a window, door, or dumpster, um, you know, the sizing of a bear on welcome mat um, can be different and it kind of just has to tailor to making sure that the size is large enough to where a bear can't just simply step over it and get to a window or um, or a garbage can, um, and it's an effective barrier to prevent them from accessing these resources. So sometimes, you know, what we'll hear is bears actually pushing or scooting to the side bear on welcome mats, and um, therefore they can actually get past them. So if it's on the ground or the dirt, a lot of times I suggest people to use tent stakes to stake them down. Um, or if it's on a deck, you can temporarily screw them into the deck or use heavy uh, bricks or cinder blocks to kind of uh, keep those bear on welcome mats in place. So there's a lot of different ways to utilize bear on welcome mats to ensure bears don't become habituated to human-derived food sources or creating property damage to your house um, or other outbuildings across your property. Uh, what we see sometimes is bears getting into a shed where people keep their, gar or their garbage or getting into garages or through open doors and windows. Uh, a lot of times, especially up in the higher country and in bear country, a lot of these houses don't have uh, air conditioning in them. So during the summer time, it can get pretty hot in there. So people tend to sleep with their windows open and a lot of times we see bears actually utilizing those open windows to get into those structures. And bear on welcome mats are a great tool to uh, put underneath some of these bear accessible windows uh, to prevent them from actually coming into a, a dwelling and uh, getting a food re uh, reward. Another great practice to use with these is, you know, especially if you have kids or dogs running around during the day, is to just take those unwelcome mats and actually uh, prop them up and lean them up against the side of the house or the shed uh, when they're not in use. Uh, the times that are the most effective um, to use these is you know, from dusk till dawn when bears are most active um, during, the, during the summer months.